What is wrong with Africa? What's wrong with us Africans? What is affecting Africa? Where is Africa heading to? When will Africans wake up? What's hindering African unity, prosperity and progress? Why are we allowing our culture to be detected, distorted and ruined? Why are we allowing our brains to be stolen? Why are we misinformed, miseducated or misled by propaganda? Where is egalitarianism in Africa for Africans? It's only because we are on self-mental quarantine. Why have Africans remained slaves? Are we blinkered as Africans? Why are we on mental house arrest? Why are Africans self-centered? Why do Africans believe in survival of the fittest? Why do Africans believe in each man for himself and God for us all mentality? Why are Africans anti-inventory? Why do Africans undermine themselves? Why do Africans believe in backing than investing? Why does tribalism thrive better than unity in Africa? Why do Africans believe in non-African investors? Why do Africans believe that non-African investors will develop Africa? Why are non-African languages regarded as a measure of intelligence in Africa? Is Lindela a South African prison or is a quarantine center for African foreigners in Africa? Self-mental quarantine is a deadly disease in Africa more than Ebola, HIV, cancer, malaria or COVID-19. Our dress code is non-African. Our food is non-African. We have abandoned our natural hair for artificial fiber, they call it hair. We bleach our skin to resemble non-African this. We have abandoned our culture for non-African culture. We have been made to believe that our religion is witchcraft. Our history is determined somewhere by someone outside Africa. Our future in Africa is in limbo. We have meant to believe in violence more than engagement. We Africans believe in corruption fraud in the name of connection, not hardworking. We are on self-imposed house arrest. First it was the flag following the cross. Now churches are profit-making businesses, benefiting individuals. Jesus fed 5,000 hungry people. African pastors are fed by thousands of hungry people. African traditional religion was about empowering people. Was Paul Kagame wrong by banning money-spinning pastors? How many African countries have leaders who are unifiers, peacemakers like Paul Kagame? Why are we not transforming Africa from rags to riches, from blood to bliss? Why are we on self-imposed house arrest, quarantined in our own mentality? How many Africans are in FIFA executive? How many African countries have hosted FIFA World Cup? How justified is the proportional representation of African teams in FIFA World Cup? Why was JJ Okocha not voted among the best footballers in the world? Why was Titia Dropper denied FIFA Ballon d'Or Kong? Didn't Samuel Eto'o deserve to be an outstanding winner of FIFA Ballon d'Or? Why are South Africa's Ben McCarth and Quinton Fortune not honored in South Africa for their Champions League triumph? Why is Peter Nsukuzonke and Love not honored in Zimbabwe and Africa at large for his EPL record? What failed Sadio Mane to win FIFA Best Football Award after winning Champions League, UEFA Super Cup and Club World Cup? Why was Yaya Ture not the best midfielder during his prime time? Why does CAF give Best African Football Award to players playing outside Africa? How many arrests were made when Salim Muntari was racially abused at a fully packed stadium in Italy? What comes to African leaders is minds when seeing European footballers of African descent? Are we really good for nothing as Africans? Are we on self-imposed house arrest? Are we on self-mental quarantine? Why are Africans indebted to their former colonial masters? Why are Africans depositing revenues to their former colonial masters? Why do you compensate colonizers for their land they looted from us? When will Africa's looted resources be compensated? When will slave trade be compensated? When will be sanctions against African countries be removed? Why are blacks treated as an inferior race? Why was George Floyd brutally murdered? How many blacks have been racially and brutally murdered? We fought for independence, but we remain politically, economically, religious, educational, and spiritually slaves. Oh, Africa, my beautiful motherland. Why was Thomas Sankara assassinated? Was his killer brought to book? Why was Chris Ani assassinated? Why was his murderer released? When will Nkwame Nkrumah's United Africa idea be accomplished? When will Nelson Mandela's vision of freedom and better life for all come to effect? 
Why are African leaders not taking Professor Lumumba's ideas into consideration? Why was Dr. Arikana Chikombori asked from United Nations? How lucky will Africa if we get unifying peacemaking leaders? Where did HIV come from? Where did COVID-19 come from? Why are traditional healers prescription not respected? Why are traditional healers not recognized, respected and protected? Why are money spending pastors praised? Why do Africans need non-Africans' approval and validation for their own homemade vaccine? How many African countries begged Madagascar for their COVID-19 vaccine? What and whose interest is who protected? Why is it anti Africa? Is Africa a lab for testing vaccines? Are we wrong to tell non-Africans who disrespect us to leave us alone and in peace? Africa is on self-mental quarantine. Fellow Africans, I plead before you all, let's urgently evacuate from self-hate and embark on unity of one Africa, one goal, one government, one vision, one mission, one currency, one common language, free movement of goods and people in Africa, a borderless continent for the biblical canon. Surely Africa will be a land of milk and honey one day. My poetry is an earthquake to all Africans. My poetry is alarming to all Africans. My poetry is a wake-up call to all Africans. My poetry is anti-African mental slavery. My poetry is an African weapon against imperialism. My poetry is perfect, proper, professional and pure. I don't run, but I call a spade a spade. I don't provoke, but I'm vocal and visionary. I'm not a warmonger, but I'm a peacemaker. I'm not a politician, but an African patriotic poet. I am a Pan-African ambassador through poetry. I am the voice of Africa. I am open to it. Proudly African. Proudly black. Proudly Zimbabwean from Lupane.